I stay Earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars. Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Okay. Um, so he's going to pick one of these out. I'd pick my attributes body, dexterity, intelligence, perception, charm, and temperament. I do like the charm. If I had this one's charisma, people might actually talk to me. <laughs> I don't think I need to go that high. So I have four points remaining. Block, inst inspiration, strength. So that would be my carrying capacity. I could build that up in game. I do like uh, ranged weapon. Lock picking and engineer, I think. Um, I want one more point. <laughs> All right, so we'll decrease this, increase it later, and I want to go with. With your sharp eyes, you could have been an Aetherwave detective. Yeah, I want to go high on perception, get that bonus extra headshot, weak spot damage, lock picking engineering so happy with that go to next E two points available I believe we went into persuade let's see no it was uh, dialogue I hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite and ranged so you are going to paint this system red my friend because I want to shoot people from a distance don't really want to engage. I always like. A lot spread, eh? Huh. We all start somewhere, I suppose. Cleaned out enough test tubes to develop a keen instinct for what goes in them and why. Maybe you didn't get in the business to mop up the leavings of a failed experiment, but that's just part of the job. Even if you can't unsee what happens in the lab, you can at least learn from the mistakes and enjoy some colorful nightmares. <laughs> so, let's go with a male gender. All right, so let's go to next. What is your name? Ricky D. <laughs> Enter to accept. Next. Okay. Looks like that's going to be it. So back in we go. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Likely bootlickers. Bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. You know, they never do say why this guy pulls us out of here. 
There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. What? Normally, 70 years? someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Liquefaction? Something wrong? What? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see here. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies, saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Wait, wait, what? Okay, great. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get I've along also outfitted like you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. Well, any landing you can walk away from, I guess. I mean, I mean, seriously, you just kind of stood there and watched the ship drop on you? Thinking Hawthorne wasn't all that uh, intelligent. Let's see, left control, there we go. Squat. Can you stand up? Right, let's come up here, get some Adreno. Um, head down here. Okay, we got to sneak past these guys. We do not want to alert them. Okay, we want to make keep them to be not alerted. Let's get in here. unforeseen side effects side effects what have you done to me you crazy scientist other than keep me alive with your miracle cure um, okay so I have played this 
a little bit. So there is a little bit on here that I have experienced, but most of this is going to be new. Like this broken leg I knew was coming. But we'll take a little bit of a, a health fixer. Hey, and you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. So what are you, a walking advertisement? What happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Well, I mean, guns 101, pal. You don't point the barrel at yourself. But what were you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Since I'm looking at you, I'll assume they're over there. Uh, why don't you give me your gun, and uh, I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo, not counting the bullet in my side. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. So, can you tell me anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti-Cleo or something? What? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Well, can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Ah, uh, tuna. Sounds disgusting. Well, I'm off. Okay, so... You got anything in here I can, uh... Scavenge? Some sliced bread. Mag picks. I'm not taking your stuff. No, I'm just, uh... Picking it up to store it elsewhere. So if I can't get through there, let's stand back. Damn it, my ears! Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? I hear what you. This... My aim is terrible. Ah! Okay. Tactical time dilation. Basically, I can slow time down, kind of like the VAT system in Fallout. All right, we have people over here. We got one, two. Let's just blow those barrels up. Oh. Why is my vats not working? Because I kept hitting the wrong button. Alright, I got my fingers all messed up trying to find that damn button. We will take your loots. Give me all the goodies. standing in fire? I think I was. Let's come over here. Should I? Oh, more people. Let's get that headshot. Oh, the other guy didn't even hear it. At least I hope nobody's sneaking up on me. Go down and meet with these guys. Hey! Get over here! 
over here before you get yourself killed. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. I've already dealt with a few of these marauders. I am not impressed. You pulling my limb? I, I mean, yeah, of course. Marauders. Bunch of addle brain derelicts. I could round them up all by myself. I just, you know... Need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Yeah, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh, you talk tough. Here we go. Yeah, step in front of my fire, dumbass. The fuck? What are you shooting at me for? You stepped in front of my fire, bitch. Stick your head out here. Cock gobbles? I, I don't care about level up right now. Uh, here I'm being a nice guy, and then you turn around, you step in front of my shots, block my kill, and then start attacking me? I don't think so. I don't know what kind of repercussions that's going to have, but that's going to stand. I ain't taking that kind of shit. Give me bodies. Where's the rest of the bodies? I don't know, maybe I should go dig my bullets out of them? <laughs> so it doesn't point back to me? Alright, so apparently I leveled up and I got points available. Ten points available, they're going to go into ranged, five of them. And... Stealth. And apply. Parks don't have Jesus. I don't remember going through all this before. It's I, I'm gonna pick up our carrying capacity. Don't really want to go into all that, but just wanted to search the area really quick. Probably should be up. and. Anything else around here? Go on the ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Okay, I'll bet it doesn't. What we got here? Landing site discovered. Adreno. We'll Marauder, take that. please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. And hack this locker. And a light assault rifle. Why are you doing that? Let's go to inventory. Weapons. Oh, smokes. I got a lot of weapons. Unauthorized access of space bearing vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Okay, I'll do just that. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Hello, Ada. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Early now. I'm not here to misappropriate anything. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. You do realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. 
My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Well, Hawthorne's dead. Sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? I'm kind of crazy. All right, I get it. You need me to be Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. So where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Alright, let's knock it off with this Captain Hawthorne nonsense. It is difficult for me to do so. I am programmed to accept commands from Captain Alex Hawthorne, after all. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Okay, so let's go ahead and check the ship out. What do we got in here? Looks like it's everything on that level. Let's check in here. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. But that's that's my bedroom. I mean, I guess you can't. Beggars can't be choosers about the ship. They. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. I can see why he stood underneath my ship to get flattened then. Engine room? The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I get it, Ada. I get it. So this down here... Okay, this will be... Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself, right before he died. This is as long as you don't blame me for that. I mean, literally, all he had to do was step to the side. But he was still holding that beacon like he wanted it to land on him. Alright, so this is my ship. Actually, my ship now. So let's go get us an engine. What do you want? Well, I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Yeah, uh, the guards accidentally brutally shot themselves while on patrol. Accidentally brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second time this month. Second Guess time I'd better this get month. to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, blading out on the dirt. I could use their gear. No sense in letting a good suit of armor go to waste. Yeah, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater to your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Okay, I'll be on my way. Don't really need to ask him anything, so we need to head to town. Uh, town is this way. Oh, there's a marauder. Let's come around the side here. Can we ambush him from the top? Well, 
or just bypass them entirely, I guess. So there's two there, one there. didn't have anything that's a crime that's a crime in itself it's starting to get dark Do a little reload what is that sound I hear something rumbling See anything over here? Edgewater, huh? I wonder why they named it Edgewater. I don't see any water. Oh, wait, yeah, I do. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Let me put my little gun away so I'm not so threatening. Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail Are you yourself saying of I got a pretty mouth? And low, low prices. Is that why you've got a pair of armed guards? I'm being vigilant. Don't want to get blindsided by some corpse-chewing marauder come stalking out the shadows. Gotten, I didn't get your name. They call me Rick. Rick Dangerous. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Now you haul corpses and I make corpses. We should get along just fine. Who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. <laughs> You've got business inquiries. You should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. W what's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. Are you offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see? You want me to collect what's owed to you? I can, I can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Why is Abernathy a special case? He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy, I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. By the landing pad, got it. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. That's good to hear. Keep your distance, um, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. So this is the sick house, huh? Do you think you could maybe clean it up and it would help these fellows? There's some heavy ammo, but I'm afraid I'll get caught if I try and steal that. Let's see. Ah, close the door first. Me, I was doing nothing. Cigarette lighter. I'm not going to risk getting caught taking a cigarette lighter. Who 
right to company ammo. What? Something's not right. No prisoners. What the heck are you shooting at? Stay down, miscreant. All of that shooting rats, huh? Okay. Maybe you should just come inside and handle it. Be far less coming outside. Okay, so let's take a look here at the journal. We have a stranger in a strange land where we need to find a power regulator and the grave matter. We'll mark that as our primary and take care of that really quick. So now we look at the map. The barber shop. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. They probably are, but physical you get hygiene used to it. recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You yeah. will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Yeah, okay. Look, Silas sent me to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. In other words, you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. With what? My own blood? Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Well, why don't you just give Silas an IOU? Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Well, I'll let you know if I find anything. Much obliged. Alright, so do you have anything of value you said before? Receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Company's going to have to call it for what it is. Destruction of Spacer's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay for his body price. This is going to ruin us. So I was thinking that we pawn off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Heirlooms passed down. His family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We'll sell the teeth somewhere nice and quiet and use the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wiser. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Phyllis G. Alright. Oh, so why don't you pull those what teeth? What can I do for you? I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as collateral for your gravesite fees? You know about Eugene? How? I went in the other room. I found that note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Got that stick a little far up your ass for somebody who's poor, don't you? I'm sure he won't miss them. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body, and all rare earth minerals contained therein, are solely the property of Spacer's Choice. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I think you know the answer to that. You're going to have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. 
goodbye and thank you. You're weird. Abernathy. Let's go check out Abernathy. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy. Mr. Thompson didn't send me. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, let me give you the grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. I'm here to collect your gravesite fees. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. I'm sure that's all very tragic and heartbreaking, but just pay me so I can get out of here. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Freelancing? Huh? That depends on what you need. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? Well, never mind, you're poor. Uh, I assume there's guards there? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on oh, the other of hand. of course. Well, what can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Alright, I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Yeah, don't push me, pal. You take an, aw an awful risk trusting me, you know. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but... I never did find my courage. Nah, I don't trust Vickers anyway. Alright, I'll leave you be. You're making a mistake looking for Abernathy. What? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. Hi, Esther. Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Oh, really? He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. And what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Uh, let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. And we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy's paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. All right. Who's next? So it's going to go behind us and this way. Take get Adreno. What do we got here? Enter a keyword for record search or hold down control alt, alt F7 enter to compose a new entry. Last search in Dumate. Two records found. In Dumate left Edgewater today. She's been reassigned to Terra 1. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I'd ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Notes from Indomate. They wouldn't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Perhaps more than I would make time for. You are patient, present, and present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Pervate. They tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She was actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. 
She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I sat up last night reading through the Young Spacer's Guide, almost started reading it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches. May as well read the whole thing again. Alright. Okay, where are we going now? We are going over to... So, we want to go into the cannery. No receptionist. Logs. Schedule your sick leave. Edgewater processing lost hours. Uh, that's a good reminder to save, though. 